Hey guys, Mix Media Girl here. So we're going on to our next dollar store series video. And this is a grip liner, like for a drawer or a shelf or something. And this one is also from Kim and Doveni Wise. So their thought on this was that I would put this on the canvas and then just pour over that and kind of see what happens. I am going to actually cut this to make it a bit easier for me because I don't need that full length. I'm using a 9 by 12 canvas and I think so that this doesn't get too muddy it'll be best if I pour colors one at a time. So there we go. This will be interesting. No idea if this will work or not. Let's go ahead and give it a go. Uh oh, So I'm going to start with some white. And all of the colors that I'm using are mixed with Floetrol and water. My biggest worry here is if the paint actually makes it through because this is semi-tightly woven. So we'll see. Um, so the white was the Artist Law Flow Acrylics mixed with Floetrol and water. This is an orange gold, which I actually made myself. Also mixed with Floetrol and water, though. Then we'll do some of this metallic purple. This is amethyst, and this is an Art Mines paint. It's gonna be interesting trying to get the canvas covered. Oh, I have an idea. All right, let's do a little more white. Somewhere here I have yellow too. I don't think. I think I want to go with warm colors here. Okay, there's my yellow. So I've decided basically I'm going to try to kind of kill two birds with one stone with this painting. I'm going to do a dip on top of it, which will hopefully help the paint kind of go through also. And then we'll peel this off and see what we have underneath. A little of the neon hot pink there. Trying not to overdo it. And then I think let's go a little bit more white. I can tell it's going through. But it's really hard to tell what coverage we've gotten. Like I don't know if you can see over here. Let me bring you down for a close up real quick. So you can see at least on the edges there that it has gone through, but some places like here, it just seems to be kind of sitting on top. So I definitely think it should be given a minute to kind of soak in. Okay, I grabbed another canvas to put on top. I do think I wanna put just a teensy bit of black in a couple spots here. Maybe kind of help fill in some little holes here and I love the contrast so definitely not overdoing it there okay perfect so let's take this same 9 by 12 canvas I'm gonna lay it on top here and push down I don't know if I'll be able to get full coverage on this one on top I think should help. Okay, let's see what we've got. Nice. Okay, so it didn't get quite full coverage, but that's okay. I think I can probably help some of those spots along, but I think that will help this one get full coverage. So I'm going to set this one aside. All right. And let's peel this off and see what we've got. <laughs> that is super cool. It's kind of like a, a kind of like a dip. I'm gonna actually put this on top of the other canvas. Sorry, it's not in the screen. This was not planned. But I think we have enough paint here. Let me move things out of the way so I can get both canvases in the screen. All right, got both canvases here. 
So um, you can see on this, the cool thing is it's got like a lot of air bubbles, which is helping some fun cells pop up. I am going to tilt this a little bit. And I think if I try this again, my biggest thing was I need more paint near the edges so I don't have to worry about getting full coverage. Like it was like fairly hard to do on this one, but did pretty good. I'm going to tilt a little bit this way. And then a little bit this way, and then I'm going to leave it. So just a little bit. And okay, there we go. Now I'm going to set this one aside. So that I have full coverage on the front now, not on the sides, but that's okay. That's easily fixable. Now here's this one, which is the one that I had set on top and then I set this on it. So I'm gonna actually kind of push around the edges and then I'm gonna slowly peel it up. <laughs> it's kind of cool the way that it bubbles like that. That is pretty neat. So we got pretty good coverage on that. Now, these have a lot of air bubbles. I am going to take a torch to these, and then we'll do our close-up. You don't have to have a torch. These would pop themselves eventually, but I'm just doing this to just speed it up because there's a lot of air bubbles. One more thing to note is on this one, I peeled up this way, and on this one, I peeled up sideways. So that gave us actually the different patterns. And of course, this one was kind of a double dip, so it's a little more muddy, but I still think it's great, especially as like a background. Like I can see adding like a flower field on top of it or something. Let's do our close up. All right, here's the bottom painting. I love, love, love this one like i said next time if i do this again i'll make sure that the edges really get hit very well i'm pretty excited about this color combination too would have liked to have had some gold like just straight up gold in there but that's okay all right this is the top one that was basically double dipped still pretty cool but definitely the colors are muddier there you go that was pretty fun all right guys thanks again to kim and doveni wise for this project idea and i still have a whole bunch more so i can do a few more experiments with this and thank you to everyone that contributed to the dollar store series i will see you all next time